Hello and welcome to today's English speaking video. Let me ask you a question and please answer me in the comments. How many times do you say I don't understand in your daily conversation? If you use I don't understand many times during the day, write always. In this video, I'm going to share with you other sentences or expressions that you can use to avoid repeating I don't understand all the time. Right? I just don't get it. This is basically an expression that you can use when you don't really understand what the other person is trying to tell you. You can use this expression when, for example, when you are in a meeting or sometimes in the class and maybe your classmate or your friend or teacher or anyone trying to help you understand something but still it's very difficult for you to get it so in this case you can say instead of saying i don't understand you can use this expression like you can just say i'm sorry i just uh i just don't get it or it's really hard for me or it's really hard for me to get it but it's still difficult for me to get what you are saying or it's, dif it's still difficult for me to get your explanation or your view, things like that. Number two, it makes no sense to me. You can actually use this expression when to say that something seems illogical to you, it doesn't have any logic. So in this case, we can say it makes no sense. It means it doesn't have any logic. Now, for example, let's say there are some rules maybe some rules in the company or maybe some rules in the country or some rules uh, in the system and you feel these rules are not really necessary or maybe not really important so in this case you can say it makes no sense to me number three i can't get my head around it what does that mean it means that you are not able to understand what is happening. Maybe because it is too complicated or maybe it is illogical. So in this case, that means it's really hard for your brain to accept the idea or to understand the concept. So in this case, you can say, I can't get my head around it. You can ask a question like, could you please be more specific? What does that mean? It means that you are still not getting the overall idea and you want the, and you want the speaker to specify what he or she is talking about. It's because sometimes when you are in a meeting or maybe when we are speaking with others, sometimes they might be talking about things in a very general way without being more specific. And that can be a distraction to you. So to avoid that, you can say, could you please be more specific? It means, could you please just focus on the details or, for, or be more specific on something rather than being all over the place? I'm sorry, I couldn't catch what you mean. That means you are still not able to understand what the person is talking about so in this case you are asking him or her to repeat one more time but in a different way so when you say i can't like i couldn't catch what you mean you are expecting the person maybe to add another example or maybe to elaborate more but in a different way just to help you understand the idea could you please repeat what you said. In this case, you are asking the other person to repeat the idea, probably because you couldn't hear everything and you want him or her to repeat the same thing one more time. You can actually use that like when you are on the phone or maybe when you are having an online meeting or an online class and it is hard for you to understand everything due to the internet connection because sometimes the connection can be a bit poor so it might not be possible for for us to understand or to get every word the speaker says please you can ask for a repetition you can say could you please repeat 
what you said or i'm sorry i couldn't hear what you said or i'm sorry the line is not very clear can you please repeat what you said so these are basically reasons that you can use to ask for clarification basically some of the common expressions that you can use to avoid saying i don't understand in your conversation I really hope you find this English speaking video helpful and if you have any questions let me know in the comments. Also if you have other topics or video ideas or suggestions or maybe grammar topics that are so hard for you to understand let me know in the comments as well. Uh, before saying goodbye make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any of the upcoming video and this is all find this video helpful please give it some like let me know in the comments um, your preference and what, to, uh, what you would like to get on the upcoming videos so in this case I wish you a happy day and I will see you in the next video bye bye